how does it feel back to be back on tour after all this time of unfortunate circumstances? Um, actually, it's a bit uh, disturbing because I prefer to. Uh, I'm in a very good flow of uh, uh, studio work, and uh, to do this interruptives, uh, it's it kind kind of throws you a bit off the where the focus is on a personal stage. Uh, it, it is, of course good to uh, use energy again but it's um, I I would rather finish the things that I'm working on before I go out and scream in the public do split the time in your creative process because you're also you're an artist you're a full artist you're a musician as everybody knows but you're also a painter do you have a, a set time in when you're going to be just painting creating music composing or you're just flowing with whatever emotions come through I flow on my own emotions uh, uh, I, I run a art gallery as well where I uh, mainly show other artists but uh, now and again I show my own works and uh, music wise I work uh, I, I usually divide the day into uh, separate stages uh, well when, when I paint I usually, usually need to isolate myself uh, very much but when I work music I work music in the early hours I sleep three hours a, uh, three hours a, a day. So uh, uh, from when I wake up to uh, uh, to noon, or uh, I work music, and then uh, after I can focus on the visual arts. But uh, but it's because I I can uh, but I work on emotion in general. So it, it's never uh, steady. But in in general, when I work. Uh, Studio-wise, and when I create music, I prefer to work uh, early mornings before the world has disturbed uh, or tainted, tainted uh, uh, the imagination. Or so, uh, yeah. So I did. I kind of uh, juggle it about. Pandemic, like you said before, you had a lot of time for creative, the, the creative process. You know, splitting between the, the creative process of the music and art and the business, which is a very different aspect, touring and all these things. Yeah, of course, uh, business-wise, it's uh, terrible uh, <laughs> during the pandemic, but uh, 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 creatively uh, and especially uh, studio-wise, I've, uh, I feel that I, I've really enjoyed the pandemic. It's been fantastic in many ways, but uh, uh, of course, uh, uh, difficult to run the gallery through that time, uh, time and of course the economics uh, unsteady, but, but in, uh, in general, the creative, uh, the creative part of it has been very good. So I've been, uh, I've, I've, I've been uh, working uh, quite a lot of music, so uh, last year I uh, recorded three albums and uh, at the moment I'm working on five albums. So uh, it's, uh, it's 
uh, for me it's been a very positive but now uh, I hope things ki uh, I kind of want things to slow down a bit before it uh, becomes back to normal I, uh, because there's so many things that I want to uh, kind of just put a red line under and uh, say done and uh, but it's uh, yeah for me uh, for me it's it, you just work with the situation so and for me the situation has been uh, been good Ad uh, just adapting to uh, how uh, how things are. So. How was your the collaboration with the Season of Mist? Is the first collaboration with uh, the Hummy Mountain? Uh, the season of mist were chasing us for uh, for a long time, and uh, they were uh, willing to help out. And uh, so I, I've always had a good eye to them. Um, I uh, I've of course known them for years, but I I wanted Galswood to build slowly. I don't want Galswood to become uh, become big because of uh, of certain members or whatever. It's uh, I I don't. Uh, I want things to be grounded. I need things to be there for uh, the sake of the music, not for the sake of of fame or whatever. Uh, so, uh, if Season of Mist are pleased with us, I don't know because uh, we might not speak to uh, the bigger audience. <laughs>artistically speaking music wise you say you were recording or working on five albums right now is it with uh, Gaz words or different projects uh, some of it is God's word uh, some of it is for the upcoming album some of it uh, is from uh, for albums that's uh, far ahead um, but uh, we've done quite a uh, quite a bit of recordings with them so um, I, I have I have certain plans, <laughs> and uh, I, we just recorded the drums for the next uh, Tveldom album. It's uh, the 30th anniversary, and uh, me and Sir have uh, uh, have uh, created, uh, uh, yeah, done the preparation for the. Uh, three upcoming ones but we've uh, just recorded drums for one so I don't count the other ones in. Then me and Lindy Fajhella is uh, is doing a, a so far nameless project. I don't know what genre it is even but we've, uh, we are in the mixing process at the moment. Uh, so it's uh, and uh, then we are uh, participating on some uh, secret events. Uh, well, secret recordings that uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to say anything about it. So <laughs> but we'll see. It's uh, non-verbal, but a lot of oral uh, work. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> One last question. I know it's very hot with the lights. You have the lights right here. I love to sweat anyway, so it's... Uh, it's healthy, right? It's healthy. Get uh, get get uh, remove the makeup. <laughs> you just mentioned uh, you didn't know which genre it was, genre of music. How do you feel about music genre these days with all the black and all the different genres mixing together? Is there anything that is there any genre really anymore? I'm not certain if I understand the question. You know, you, you mentioned you were not sure which genre of music you oh, were composing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And today everybody yeah, has a yeah, genre. Yeah, yeah. I listen to this, I listen to that. But music is something, art is something that doesn't have a... Yeah, I, I, I prefer, uh, prefer to not think of genres. It's uh, because uh, m music is emotion. And um, uh, yeah, I, uh, 
uh, uh, it's very limiting as soon as you put it into genres. Uh, yeah, I I don't want to be in any any form of genre. I want to be emotion. Thank you very much for the time today. And I really hope to see you soon and uh, it was great to meet you. Thank you.